Welcome everyone, I'm Ian Hamilton, Chief Technology Officer at Signia. This video series covers artificial intelligence and machine learning, targeting media technology professionals with a digital signal processing background. But don't be scared off if this isn't your background. Anyone with basic math skills and a natural sense of curiosity should be able to follow along. This video series is organized into five short segments. Although the segments are designed to be viewed in sequence, each video can be viewed independently or skip if you're already familiar with the topic. Human learning strategies range from rote memorization to analogy to first principle decomposition. If we look at the time people and computers need to invest to benefit from each of these strategies, the curves are rather different. Computers are so good at memorizing, we don't give them any learning credit for it. Even in the context of machine learning, computers don't really learn by analogy. They detect intrinsic patterns in data in a way that resembles first principle decomposition. People, on the other hand, typically learn fastest by analogy. So I'm going to leverage analogy and digital signal processing as a frame of reference to build intuition into how machines learn. In the late 1990s, prior to starting Signet, I was working as part of a team looking to overcome the limitations of TCP on high bandwidth, long distance networks. TCP is the standard communication protocol that ensures the reliable, ordered flow of data over the internet. A developer working on the problem explained to me how he had come up with an approach that involves storing a history of observed packet loss. By applying different weights to the data points in this history, he could isolate sources of packet loss and react more appropriately to each source. I responded, it sounds like you're treating packet loss as a digital signal and using convolution to filter out different frequency components. He looked at me like I was speaking another language, but there's a simple point to this story. Understanding a problem or data set depends a lot on how you look at it. Something that appears complex in one frame of reference can be dramatically simpler in another frame of reference. Watch for this as a recurring theme throughout these videos. In the machine learning space, there's an ongoing debate over ubiquitous use of neural networks versus other forms of machine learning. Neural network detractors often argue that a key drawback to neural networks is that we don't really understand how they work. This is a misleading statement examined later in this video series. 